Hey everybody, it's Friday before the Monday. Monday is November 25th that I promised I'd ship all the advent calendars out. And um, <clears throat> I just got up <laughs> and it's cold outside, okay? But I, just, I, I got this package from Morgan. This is all of the bags she's been working on for the last month, the little baggies. There are close to a thousand baggies in here that I have to fill over the weekend with masks and parts and things. And she got her part done, and I got my rubber parts made, and now I have to get them in the baggies and in the boxes, and then out to you guys. So here we go. Let's see what let's see what this looks like. You're gonna see it with me for the first time. Yeah. Morgan said she thought she taped it up too good for me to get it out, but look at this. I got my trusty old knife and it goes right through the tape. I'd like to see an unboxing of the package I sent her. Now that one, that one is different. All oh, right, I love this stuff. I never throw this away. You'll find I'll use this for packing the stuff I send out to you guys. Ooh, wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. I'd bring the camera over here and let you look down in here and enjoy this with me, but it's easier for me just to do this. Here are the big bags that everything is gonna go in. Look how beautiful these are. These, I don't know what you call it, it's hand printing, I guess is what you would call it. Morgan made the stamp for this with her laser printer, and then she figured out how to get the ink on the stamp, and then stamp each of these bags. I am so proud of my little girl right now. And we've done projects together before, but this is our first big rock fire project. Look at this bag. I mean, this bag alone should be, I don't know, what, worth 20 bucks, 50 bucks? I don't know, what would you say? rock fire bag. Look at this. This is the unexpected bonus with the advent calendar that nobody's thought about yet. The people who told me it's pretty expensive. Well, you know Aaron Fector isn't gonna charge you an arm and a leg for something and then not turn out a great product. And of course, I was depending on Morgan to, uh, to do that with the bags. Look at this. Now they're all individually done, hand done, so they're all a little bit different. There's nothing exactly the same. Maybe next year we'll have them printed by a printer, you know, to save us money and save time. But this year, and maybe they'll be cheaper next year, the advent calendars. But this year, these are the hand printed ones and um, that Morgan, my daughter, did. And Morgan is gonna be carrying a lot of responsibilities for the rock fire explosion someday when I get old. So uh, let's let's uh, let's give Morgan a big round of applause for these great these beautiful bags. Okay, see look, and I and she made thirty of them or twenty five of them, maybe a couple extras, and um, so that we can send you your twenty five advent calendars. Just twenty five people are going to be lucky enough to get an advent calendar this year, and. This was a tremendous amount of work. Hey, more of this stuff. Yeah, more packing material. This is valuable. I'm very selfish with my packing material, by the way. Even when I pack things, I only use as much as I need to. And look, oh my God, what is this? What is this? Oh my God, what did she just send me? Oh no, look at this, everybody. I wasn't expecting this. I don't know what it is, but Morgan, Morgan, honey, did you just, oh my goodness, look. Look at this, everybody. She sent me a framed picture. It says, and look what it says at the top. It says, our new beginning. Fector and daughter with a heart on it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful? Morgan, thank you so much. I love you so much, sweetheart. Mm. Look at this. This is, no one's ever getting hold of this. How much do you think I could get for this on eBay? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I would never sell this. <laughs> getting, one of, getting this for me would be like getting one of my uh, second generation Dukes. Maybe harder. Thank you, Morgan. I love that. Honey, you are so wonderful. Morgan is just really wonderful. Oh, these might be extras. I'll bet you these are the, either these are extras or, oops, or some people are gonna get the ones that she messed up. 
I don't know, are these messed up? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Morgan, if they're not messed up and I'm supposed to use these. Um, <laughs> they're just lightly painted. I guess I'll find out. Um, anyway, let's see. I dropped a couple of them. It's a good thing that my floor is so clean you can eat off of it. Right. Ooh, look at this. Okay. So she packed the other bags in little Ziplocs for me. And see, they have numbers on them. Ooh, let's look at these. Let's pull, let's just pull one out. I don't want to get them out of order. So I definitely don't want to, I don't want to take more than one out. Let's see. I think that says 18 on it. Okay, so when, when, oh, and, and, um, and I'm not sure who this is. I guess that, is that Duke? Oh yeah, it's Duke. You can tell by the hat. Okay, so these are, these are a little bit artsy. Okay, these are little baggies and you know who they are. That's going to be Duke when it looks like the number 18. All right, so, so they're a little on the artsy side. Oh, are these are, oh, these are all 18s. Okay, so this is a bag of 18s. Let's take another, a look at another one. This is bag number six. And again, that looks like a, looks like another Duke, another Duke picture to me. I could be wrong. These are very artsy. You know, these are kind of like, um, uh, what's one of the famous artists that you gotta really look at the artwork for a while before you figure out what it is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, now I know who this is. I know who this is right off the bat. Look at this. And, and you get one of these bags for every day of the month. That's 25 of these little baggies. See, there'll be a there'll be a rubber part in this bag. This is bag number twenty three, and everybody knows that's Fats. See there, isn't that beautiful? Van Gogh. Would you compare this to a Van Gogh or a? Uh, let's see who is impressionistic. You know, one of those impressionistic artists. I'm not going to pull them all out because that would take. If you, if you spent one minute doing each bag, that would be 25 minutes. So we don't want that this video to be that long. But let's look at this one here. Oh, look at this one. This is number 14. Who's that, everybody? You know what? This collection of bags alone is very valuable. And I can't wait to find out how everybody feels about their their kit, their advent calendar kit, when they get it. Morgan sent me some tissue paper. She says that's going to help me get the little rubber pieces in there. All right, let's see. I need some paper. I'll put it on the piano. I won't open these up anymore. I'll just show you. Billy Bob, bag number 22. take one out to see who it is. Tell you what, if I have to take it out to see who it is, I won't take it. Just take my word for it. These are all gorgeous works of art by my daughter with the bags numbered. I'll take one more. And that's, what, that's what's in the rest of this box. I'll see if she sent me any more presents. <laughs> Maybe some money. Morgan, is she sending me any money? <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> Look at this one. Look at this one. Here's one of the bigger bags because the bags are all different sizes because different things are different sizes. Look, it's a Mitzi sweater, and it's bag number 16. What's gonna be going in bag number 16? Well, that's what you're gonna find out on December 16th, unless you cheat and peek early. So, anyway, I'm excited. I, I can't wait to start putting parts in these thousand bags so that I can send them out to you on Monday. <clears throat> the Advent Calendar Invite is gonna be a historic conclave for creative engineering 
It's definitely already, as you know, the historic conclave for me and my daughter. I was looking for that. I was looking for that present she gave me. It's a little bit buried, but here I'll find it again because I want to close on this. Morgan, honey, I love you so much. You did a wonderful job, and I know everybody is going to love your work.